Another good story, Charlie Edwards, I guess he's the one who the bolter tag has been stuck through this season. There seems to be a player who has that every season, but he had the he had the cricket, I guess, interrupted pre-season. You start him off half back. I guess what you say at school level that I guess motivated you to play him in the midfield against Dandenong and, and then that game, how, how much confidence did you have to then stick with him in there? Because that was certainly, I guess, where it started for him at talent league level. Yeah, it was. And, and through pre-season, we really liked the look of Charlie and uh, we loved him at half back as that, you know, running high half back because he, he took the game on really well. You know, he's a, a north-south runner. He runs out the game and mm. he uses it really well by foot. So um, when the opportunity came up to put him in the midfield in that Daniel game, it was something we'd been looking to do at some point, yep. um, just with his size and his power. And we thought, oh, yep. let's have a look and see. And the thing that really impressed me with him was he kept that ability to run you know, out of a contest or run straight out the game um, coming from inside the contest, basically. So something that you have to teach a lot of guys, he was able to do pretty naturally. And, um, yeah, his school footy, it had been a bit hard to tell. You know, Melbourne Grabbers team wasn't that great this year, so they, they were struggling a fair bit. And naturally, Riley had a fair bit of attention in that team as well. But um, he'd shown a little bit of stuff there, and it was enough for us just to, you know, let's see what we can do, you know, when we have him um, with us during the school holidays. And um, he was the best player on the ground. We felt that night along with Cooper Lord. And um, that, that gave us confidence to go again with it. And I probably thought that Charlie would end up on the wing at some stage. Um, we did that in the second last round, I reckon it was, against Northern. Pushed him inside after half time. He kicked a couple of goals out of the midfield, and that ended up being his spot for the rest of the year. So he's an exciting package. And the thing I, I keep saying to AFL clubs about Charlie is we've only just scratched the surface with his stoppage craft and his contest work, and um, he's a great learner. Um, he comes from a beautiful family, and he's just a great character and great person. So um, I'm excited for him. He's been the bolter this year, and, yeah, can't wait to see him at the next level. Scratching the surface, what's the next step with him? I think just um, a few more tricks around his stoppage work. Like clearly when you go from playing under 18 footy where it's a little bit more offensive and a little bit less defensive mindset that you're now going to go into, you know, lining up at a centre bounce against Marcus Bontempelli. So he's going to need some tricks to handle that sort of situation and come up against a Christian Petrarca who's slightly different and Lockie Neal who's slightly different again. So um, that's going to be the great learning for him. And um, I still don't know whether mid or half back is his best spot. Um, he's certainly been impressive as a mid. Uh, but potentially he might end up spending a bit of time at half-back as well.